Hey guys, Max here from the Clear Voltage YouTube channel, and I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but today I am going to show you guys how to create virtual machines, and virtual machine for you that don't know but might be interested in this video is basically just running an operating system inside of an operating system. So you don't boot into it, you boot into your primary operating system as you see I'm running Windows 8.1 in the background as my primary operating system and I will show you guys how to run Linux, whatever you want uh, inside Windows so you can run two operating systems at the same time or even more. And we are gonna be using VMware Workstation 11 I will have the the download for you guys. It is a, a trial and I will even include this, but that is for educational purposes only. That's just if you want to show your friend how to use it and you need the full thing. So uh yet I will include that for you guys. But so once you download it, you also want to download hold on your virtual your actual uh your actual ISO files and as you see I have Ubuntu and whatnot and I just created a separate folder on my third hard drive, my external hard drive for that. So when you up when you start running VMware workstation you will, you can g just go into chrome whatever and i'm just going to show you guys linux with ubuntu ubuntu free free program awesome program so you're going to go to ubuntu.com download ubuntu ubuntu desktop 64 download if you want to contribute, it's it would be awesome to contribute. As you know, Windows is $100, $150, $100 for OEM copy. And these guys are giving you an operating system for free. So it would be pretty cool to um, contribute. So you can pay with PayPal or you can just do not now take me to download. And then it should start automatically downloading. But when you open up VMware Workstation, you want to go to create a new virtual machine. You want to go to typical. You want to go to next. If you have an ISO file or a DVD drive, pop in that DVD you want, but or the ISO, which I do have the ISO. So virtual machines, ISO files. Okay, I did iOS files. Uh Sorry, just going to rename that. Double click on that. All right. It it should automatically detect it. Hit next. Full name um Maximilian. This is for logging in and whatnot. The username can only be lowercase, just so you know. All right, Ubuntu 64-bit. And I'm not gonna put it there. I am going to put it in Ubuntu number one. Ubuntu, and click that. Next, hard drive space. Uh, that I have two and a half terabytes total, so that's uh, 2,500 gigabytes. Oh, I guess I will just give it 50 gigs. Actually, no, I will never use that much. I'll give it 35. Now I'm going to do single file. Um, I'm going to actually customize the hard hardware. I have 8 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to give it 2. Um, processors, uh, I'm going to give it four cores. I have an eight core processor. Um, a sound card. I use use default. That's fine. Printer. Display. Um, 1980. OK. 
Okay, I'll just use host settings. Use amount of, I'll just do the recommended. Okay, uh, that's fine for me. Two gigs of RAM, four cores. Uh, yeah, okay. Finish. See, the setup is not long at all. And now you should have Ubuntu, and now um, you should see Ubuntu, so, or whatever you named it. Uh, just gonna close that and close that. All right. So now you can boot it up if you want. Edit virtual machine settings. And but I'm just gonna do power on. Hold on. I'm just gonna do power on this virtual machine. The following devices can be connected using the status bar or choosing VM. Okay, so it is installing. Easy install is installing Ubuntu 64-bit. That is what it is saying. Looks like a pretty fast install process, but I am not um, completely sure. To direct input to this VM, click inside. So as you see, my cursor goes from the arrow to the mouse, the, the hand. So you can click inside, or you can do Control G, and I just lost my keyboard. Control. Okay, never mind. I think that it has rebooted. Yep, and uh, we are back, guys. So now we we can do is I just lost control by actually clicking in. I uh, can't control my mouse or my keyboard. The keyboard has turned off. That is not good. Oh, and now I do have control. But my keyboard, oh, it is working. Okay, so I'm just going to type in my password. And bop, bam, we are in. My computer does turn off the lights whenever I go outside this box. So that is weird, but I also think that this is a, a full screen mode. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of the video. And bam, guys, we are in Ubuntu running Windows, as you see, running Windows and Ubuntu at the same time. How awesome is that? There's a guest, my account, I can lock it. System settings, let's look at what the system settings are. Alright, um, so the sound does seem to be working as I heard earlier, it's, cu it's coming out of my monitor, uh, my keyboard. Um, go back to settings, I want to look at hardware Okay, system details. Let's look at details. Uh, memory at two gigs. Hold on, I'm going to try and change the. Okay, so. I am actually I have lost Oh here this place okay um resolution we are going to bump it up to 1280 by or no we're going to bump it up higher 19, I don't see it. 
I don't see my resolution on here. Unknown display. Detect displays, almost, I guess. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll try doing that. But I actually can't edit my display. Oh, never mind. Great. Awesome. So now I have full. It's in full screen now, which is awesome. Uh, all settings. Now let's look at details. This is my processor. It is an 8-core processor, but like I said, I did give it 4. And 35 gigs. Default. Um, okay, we are going to see if Firefox is working. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm sorry this might have been a a longer video than usual. And as you see, it's working fine. And But then when you are done, what you can do is you can go here and you can do shut down or power off. Do not show power off. And it is powered off. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button to get future videos by me, and leave an awesome comment, if any suggestions, leave it. Also, it is the time when Samsung released the new S6 and S6 Edge HTC, they haven't released it, but they've shown images and specs, whatever, the HTC One M9. So I, I, those two are cool phones, leave in the description which phone you prefer, or if you are just a diehard Apple fan or an Apple fan and you prefer the iPhone, leave that down below too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.